Abu Dhar radiallahu an, he said, he said to him, the messenger told me, O Abu Dhar, you see, do you see that too much money means to be rich? He said, yes, messenger, he has a lot of money, and he's rich. He said, no, 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 richness is the richness of the heart, and the poverty is the poverty of the heart. Wallahi, that it is, that is the case. And that's what a person should be, knowing that the real richness is the richness of the heart. You know those people who are rich in their money, and they haven't got rich in their heart? They are poor. Allah made the poverty in between their eyes. Man ja'ala ad-dunya hammahu, he will make the dunya is his target, Allah will put the fatr, the poverty, between his eyes. So if he's a millionaire, he will still look poor to himself. Why? Because he's a multi-millionaire. And if he's a multi-millionaire, he still thinks he's poor because there is a billionaire. And if he's a billionaire, he will still feel poor because there's a, a multi-billionaire. Believe me, I'm not joking. So this person who's in number one in richness, you know, before they produce the book, who's number one in the world? He can't sleep the night. Who can be number one? He think I'm laughing? I'll lie. Who's going to be number one? Is it him or somebody else? Oh, he beat me up with, with one trillion or one billion. <laughs> so that's how it is, these people. They don't really feel happy. But those people got nothing. They don't really worry about anything. And each of you as a Muslim is happy. So happy. So happy. Happy. Aren't you happy with this? Happy. I, like, I learned one story from a person who is knowledgeable. We'll share it together as well. Person is happiness. Is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised you paradise. And paradise is better than these billions because you're gonna get your palace and everything. MashaAllah, everything that you imagine, even ten times it's like. This is for the last person who enters paradise, ten times it's like. The last person enters paradise, the one who takes him the fire, being put in the water, the Jannah water, and he will be grown up, he will be put into the Jannah ten times it's like. So what about the one who is before him? And this person who enters paradise, he thinks he's what? The best. Nobody had given like him. So not, he would not be saying, oh, want somebody can take him you know, more than you. No, he doesn't know that. He's the best. He's the best. I am the best. Nobody had taken like me. It is what he thinks. So you are happy because you are being promised paradise as long as you are upon what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you are upon. Imagine a person who are his children living in a house and this house is being detained by the court and the court told him they've got okay five days to evacuate okay got five days to evacuate because he hasn't got money to pay his rent he can't even afford to buy food to his family he can't even afford to buy clothes for himself. You think it's a miserable situation, right? Following day, he had an uncle. This uncle never even gave him a call. This uncle is living a Western life. That means he had no children, nobody, even the wife, nothing. And he was a billionaire. He died. Who's going to inherit him? This man. So he died, so he left this unimaginable money. Huh? Somebody was going to be evacuated by the court, can't afford, and he's going to have what? Billions. He never thought about it. This money can't even, doesn't know how many zeros he's got. He doesn't know. Maybe his maximum number, 100, 1,000. But billion, if you ask him what's billion, I don't know. What, what are you talking about? He never know what is billion. He thinks maybe it's a type of food. He doesn't know. So this imaginable number is going to be in his pocket. But you know the inheritance law takes about maybe a year for those assets to come. A year. So after one year he's going to get these billions which he never dreamt of. In that year what does he feel? Happy or miserable? So happy. Because waiting for those billions to come. Even though he can't afford to buy food for himself. Even though he's going to be evacuated five days after two or not. Billions waiting for him. For one year, one waiting. This is a Muslim person. He's waiting for Jannah. Nothing else. So if you are in Jannah, and you know that you are in Jannah, inshallah, 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you happy. That's the real happiness. As Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, وَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَمَتَاعُ الْحَيَةِ الدُّنْيَا Whatever you've been given in this dunya, then this is the luxury of a life. وَزِينَتَهَا This is from the adornment of the life. وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى But whatever Allah got for you, which is the hereafter in the Jannah, is more lasting. It's the everlasting. This is a short life. That the life that you're going to get, the palace that you are living in, the money that you are enjoying is a short life. You're going to leave it. It is something which is going to leave you. So whatever Allah is preparing for you is everlasting. أَفَلَا تَعْقِبُونَ Can't you have any, any common sense? Then Allah says, أَفَمَنْ وَعَدْنَاهُ وَعْدًا حَسَنًا فَهُوَ لَقِي كَمَنْ مَتَّعْنَاهُ حَتَعَ الْحَيَةِ الدُّنْيَا The one whom we've given him a proper, truthful promise, that is the Jannah, he will face it. Is it like the person who had given him this luxury of life, which is for a short time, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, ثُمَّ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنَ الْمُحْضَرِينَ And he is on the day of resurrection, ثُمَّ هُوَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنَ الْمُحْضَرِينَ He will be from the ones who will be brought to justice. He will be brought to the accountants. SubhanAllah. So that man, he can't, he's living the most beautiful time of his life. Every time he goes closer to the time where he's going to get the billions, he is closer to the huh, to the paradise of his. This is the Muslim should be. This is what the Muslim should be.